And this is really where uh, our experience is of tremendous benefit to any, any client. Our team leaders have done this before, and it's overwhelming. When this is happening in your own home, your own business, and you've got this severity of damage, to have that reassurance, that confidence that the team leader that you've entrusted to begin the restoration of your home knows what they're doing is, is vital. And that begins with the setting of expectations and conveying the process and explaining what, what has happened, what's gonna happen next, uh, confirming the, the safety of the environment. We, we call all this the softer side of restoration. And we've got the, the equipment to do the job, but it's really the, the, the conversations that take place, the, the expectation setting, the um, establishing of a process in explaining how that's gonna work and also the paperwork that backs up that process and in the contracts and in the financial discussions and the insurance coverage discussions, all of those are, are upfront uh, that we wanna make sure that folks understand exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it before we get started. We often uh, break the project into different parts and break it into different steps. Sadly, in a rising water situation when outside water has come in, the water quality is horrible, and it is uh, water that could contain petroleum products, uh, also animal waste, fertilizer, all of that has just washed into somebody's home. And they understand that fundamentally, but they, they probably don't understand some of the just inherent risks and some of the things that we can be doing to, to mitigate those risks as quickly as possible. So we're gonna help them understand that. The uh, use of personal protective equipment, um, by our workers and also providing that to the occupants of the property. And then once everything is removed, there's usually contaminants, there's sediment, there's, we call it mucking the property and we've got to get all the mud, all the debris out of the home. So that would be a second step. And then the third step would be the removal of some of the fixtures and building components of the home. So once we've got the, the structure opened up and we're back to, back to studs, uh, we're going to make some decisions about cleaning and sanitizing and the use of antimicrobial products and um, never mentioning bleach though, which is something that professional restorers typically don't, don't want to use. We've got appropriate products, green botanically based products that we're going to try to use to, to stabilize the environment. And then we would move on to structural drying, the use of the dehumidifiers, air movers, also air cleaners, uh, trying to, to accelerate the process of drying it out, um, a structural drying project uh, to move that along as quickly as possible. And the four letter word that, that everyone knows and wants to avoid starts with an M and rhymes with old. So we, we don't want mold. And we're licensed at the highest level as mold remediators in Texas and that experience makes us much better water damage restorers. So we know what to do to avoid mold developing or how to handle it if it does become an issue. And at that point, we've got the property clean, dry, and safe again, and we're ready to move on to the, the next stage, hopefully the final stage of the project, and that's gonna be reconstruction.